Good morning, everyone. It is uh, Saturday, the 13th of May, 2023, and I am in sunny Swansea, um, where we stayed last night, me, Liam and Matt. Uh, we just stayed here overnight. We are traveling uh, a bit further on to Carmarthen, uh, where we're going to Antcon. Liam's doing a bit of a presentation there. So that should be fun, I'll be recording. Looking forward to meeting a few people and uh, taking some pictures of ants and uh, having a bit of a chat with some people. Glorious day for it. So, just finished my coffee and we'll get going to Antcon. For the rest of this video, I'm going to be behind the camera operating it, but Matt and Liam will be there looking suitably fascinated as they look at some of the exhibits at Antcon and I'll provide the commentary in voiceover. Slug Disco were invited to this event to give that talk I mentioned earlier on that Liam will be doing. We'll cover that later. But it was also a really good opportunity to see some amazing ant species from around the world and meet some ant enthusiasts face to face for the first time. This dual colony setup was one of the first things that really fascinated us. The stick in the middle provides the bridge between the two. There were no visible ants at the time, but there were fish in the moat at the bottom as well, which was a really intricate little setup and uh, really very impressive. Lots of people brought along their own pet colonies to be part of the exhibit, which was really lovely to see. Printing is big in ant keeping these days. Items such as this feeder are cheap and easy to produce. You'll have to forgive me for not noting down all the names of these species. I was in a bit of a rush to get everything and uh, I'm no expert at all. If anyone can identify any of the species I haven't noted here, then please let us know in the comments. But I did note a few, and uh, we'll see a couple of those in a moment. I'm having to scale up some of this footage so we can get a good look at the ant here. But it's clear that for next time, I need to invest in a decent macro lens. Make sure you stay tuned for the Asian Marauder Ants later in the video. They were a real highlight of the trip, and we got some good footage. Ah, uh, that moist fungal growth can only mean leafcutter ants, but these are not the same kind that you find in Empires of the Undergrowth. These are Atta Mexicana. Guess where you find them? There were several speakers giving presentations at Antcon. Liam was one of them, we'll come to his presentation shortly. But here's Dr. Wendy Harris, uh, an entomologist from Swansea University. She gave a fascinating presentation titled Ants of Borneo. She brought along a specimen of the uh, giant forest ant, uh, which was a treat for the ant fans, because I know it's a favorite for lots of enthusiasts. And so we come to Liam's presentation. The difficulty for him, I think, was trying to make something that would appeal to ant fans instead of just game design fans. But I think he struck a nice balance. We'll choose just a couple of choice moments here to make up a couple of minutes of this video. But there will be a link to the full nearly 50 minute presentation that includes a question and answers section at the end in the description of this video. And this is how the game used to look when it was a mobile game. Um, just, just uh, running on our personal devices. Those are minor ants. They've just dropped off some leaves, um, and the little minims are going to collect them out, out, out to this uh, this drop-off point. They collect the little pieces, and they're taking them to the um, the the fungus gardens to turn them into fungus. Of course, everything happens really fast because uh, it's a it's a video game. And you're playing it. Um, the, the only thing the player's done here is just put two jobs down. There's no clicking going on really. We didn't realize actually when we were working on this 
um, was that the Formica rufa ant also parasitizes Formica fusca ants. Uh, they, the queen um, will in, infiltrate um, a Formica fusca nest, um, kill the queen and take over the colony. Um, and actually um, the workers, the first few black ant workers, will work for um, the rufa queen. That's one of the, the two ways a, a rufa uh, colony can be set up. They either join another super colony or they set out on their own with a, uh, by infiltrating a fusca colony. And we would got creatures from um, uh, Western Europe and uh, North America in the same zone, which wouldn't have happened. So we've tried to rectify that now. We've swapped the beech wolf spider with a sand bear wolf spider and the beech tiger beetle with the northern dune tiger beetle. So both of these um, are now European species and it could technically, everything that happens could all, could all be together in the same place. And you can find these northern dune tiger beetles in the UK um, at, uh, at Crosby Beach, um, Merseyside. That's the one place they are in, in the UK. So I think our favourite ants that we saw at Antcon uh, in the Ant Antics shop were the Asian Marauder Ant, Carabara Diversa. And the reason they're so fascinating is in the name really, Diversa. They display huge polymorphism, so they have lots of different specialised ants of different sizes. Several kinds of worker, and then there's majors, and even super majors. And I was lucky enough to get one of the super majors on camera, I think. Someone correct me if I'm wrong, but I think here is a super major. And according to the owner of the colony, shout out to Rich, by the way, who was also the organizer of Antcon, the super majors come up mainly to break down tough food sources that the smaller ants find difficult. Uh, so I was quite lucky to catch this and I didn't realize until I looked at the footage later on that I had done. How do you think your presentation went? I think it was uh, it was acceptable. Uh, I hope I hope everybody liked it. I got the feeling they did like yeah. it, Liam. You know, I really enjoyed. It. I enjoyed the whole. It was Ant Kong, my favourite Ant Kong. Just the only one I think. <laughs> so, uh, it was the best one this year. Yeah. <laughs> And I'm back at home now. What a great weekend it was. Uh, me, Liam and Matt uh, all agree. Fantastic weekend. So thanks very much to Richard and the other guys at Ant Antics who organized the event and invited us. Also, thanks for this rather fetching Antcom shirt. It's rather excellent. I'll have to wear it on a few streams. It's even got our company logo on it, which is rather snazzy. Special thanks to Dr. Harris for her excellent Borneo presentation and letting us use a couple of clips of that. All three of us had a great time and we look forward to next year's one. Bye bye.